T-Man 978 Chill Review. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another Chill Review. We're going to be looking at another G.I. Joe Classified series figure. This time it's the Tiger Force flavored version of David L. Bazooka. Kid, what? <laughs> Cats and Bogan. I, 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 I never read that before I started recording. But here's the artwork where he's gigantic and beefy right there. You can see that didn't translate. I mean, he, he is muscular, but he is nowhere near that jacked. That's like He-Man level. But yeah, he's number 54 for anybody that cares. And this is what he specializes in. If you go to their website, you should be able to tell more what this means. All right, here is Bazooka out of the packaging, wearing his Tiger Force gear. I'm pretty sure when they've released the, the regular release version, it's going to look like this, but with different color outfit. This jersey that he's wearing is like his normal jersey is based on the New England Patriots jersey. But this is one of the variant colors, and it looks like from what I've looked up, they inverse things to make it legally distinct. Like instead of having the blue stripes, blue stripe in the middle and the orange on the outside, they, they inverse that. But this is pretty much what Bazooka came with in the original, a real American hero toy line, the three and three quarter inch ones. This seems to be yet another hybrid body. I'm not gonna search through every freaking body to see who's who, which one is which, but there are pins right there. But they did give him pinless arms. Unfortunately, and I don't know how well it's coming up on the camera, the elbow joint is like a coming off as a different shade, a different color than the rest of his arm, which is unfortunate. I almost wish if that was the case, maybe they probably didn't catch that, that they just gave him elbow pads or whatever. This helmet, let me look at it. It's removable, of course. It's painted with detail, like the straps and whatnot. Yeah, the straps, before I took it out of the packaging, it kind of looked like it had a weathering effect on it, but Looking at it now, I can't see that, but it's brown and the orange or the, this orangey color. That's what seems to be painted. And while we're talking about it, let's go to his face. His face seems to be more painted than the typical Joe face. Like they all have been using like digital face scans. I don't think they're not using like, uh, a real person's face that I know of, but they are using the same digital print to put these faces on. It, when you don't have light on it, it doesn't look as glossy as it does, but there's like subtle shading in the face. I don't know if that's coming off well on the camera, but he looks really good. Let's let you see these boots because I believe they are new. I haven't seen these boots before that I can think of. Of course, this jersey is new. I'm sure the arms are a hybrid of somebody else, maybe Sergeant Slaughter. These wristbands there sculpted in. These missiles are actually removable. Be careful when you pull it out of the package because mine got kind of warped right there. And this bazooka a rocket launcher and but the name bazooka he's kind of like a joke character and on the cartoon watching the real american hero cartoon again he was not qualified to me in my opinion to be in the military with weaponry he was clumsy and he was borderline mentally challenged and i'm like wow they got this guy out in public. Supposed to be helping people. But anywho, this is painted dark green. It's padded on both sides. We have this functionality right here. 
So you could, if you want to, and this isn't, actually, it's just pegged in. I think it, they tried to put a little ridge on it to keep it in there, but that came right off when I tried to turn it earlier. You can actually load this missile in there if you want to. And yeah, I would be careful which one you put in there. If you get any resistance, go to a different missile because this one goes in and falls right out. The first one I tried, dude, it felt like it was getting stuck and I was like, no, I'm not doing that. But let's make sure you see all the detail. The strap is a different color, as you can see. And you can actually put that right there to make it look like it's launching. All right, here he is actually wielding the bazooka. And if this guy and Serpentor is any indicator, I think they're gonna move away from the actual ab crunch and give them diaphragm joints to make them more import style. Or make them more like the Valivers because they have this type of articulation. And speaking of articulation, let's get into that. All right. Now, I, I love to have the neck hinge to have better upward range, but I guess that's good. This is good. You know you have the dumbbell in the top in the head and the ball in the base of the neck, so you can turn left and right and do all the stuff you need to do. This does make it look more seamless. And we have this, you see, this is sculpted like that to match up, but it can go back that far and you, you see detail the whole way. It can come forward. As, with them making a change of not having an actual ab crunch, as you can see though, it suffers by not having a real ab crunch. But you can tilt side to side. It can still rotate down here. This right here, just like I've been mentioning with all the newer characters, it's completely 100% soft for the most part. The hard plastic part is more in the center and out of the way. So you can get more range of motion like backward. You kick forward, you get the drop down hips. It should be able to kick, let me do this, more than 90 degrees. A little bit. Swivel, double jointed knees, boot swivel. I love that always. This, that, ankle pivot, and you have the butterfly joint. Let's see. Go back a little bit, come forward a little bit. You would have to turn this to you. See, the arm can't really come in in front of his body too much. Get the bicep swivel here. The double jointed pinless elbows. The, both wrists hinge up and down. And rotate. Yeah, I can get it down that low. Going up, not so much because of the thumb sculpting. Of course, they rotate. Both hands are exactly the same. Like this one doesn't hinge in or anything. But let's let you see this for the slow people out there. These need to, to put these in there. You need to tilt it in and then click it up like that. It stops right there. Some people need closer details. And they have a hook down here for, I guess, other accessories from other characters. But luckily, this was going to be a standalone video. Because I thought this was the only Joe figure or six inch figure I had right now. But luckily, Michael Rogers didn't take his Python patrol back yet. So as you can see right here, he's regular height. He's not big like Sergeant Slaughter or Serpenter or anybody. If those figures are taller, but he does have more of a beefier body than somebody like Duke. So yeah, they are expanding their body types as you can see. But if you can't guess, I like this guy. I will probably get his regular red shirt, but I, I still want him right now because it's right here in front of me and I'm kind of halfway all in. 
I don't know if I finished my statement on his, his name being like a pun, Bazooka, and he's a G.I. Joe. Bazooka Joe like the bubble gum. And he used to always be chewing bubble gum on the cartoon. But anyway, I'm refilming this ending because I wanted to elaborate more. This is a good figure. It's, it's a really great figure. It has the bazooka, the nice helmet, the backpack, and four individual rockets that you can actually put into this rocket launcher slash bazooka. But he, with this being his accessory, he's almost like a one-trick pony. He doesn't have anything else like a handgun or anything. He, he's just completely reliant on this bazooka. So you'll have to use your other accessories that you have laying around. And the rockets are kind of boring, being unpainted green plastic with the unpainted green backpack. He himself looks really, really great, but I think he should have been packaged with some fist. And they have fist with uh, Sergeant Slaughter, so I don't know how much that would have boosted the price or if it would have. Since he doesn't come with any other gun, like fist would have been nice if he can go hand to hand combat up on somebody. Because he only has four rockets. <laughs> but anyway, I still like him. It's still a good figure because it's a G.I. Joe classified series figure. And George, yes, I'm holding my phone. Not because my phone holder broke. Uh, you, you, If you could only hear some of the conversations I have offline, off my videos with crazy people. Anyway, found him at Target sitting on the shelf. He was the only one sitting there for me. Other people have found a bunch, but he was the only one there for me because I went there later in the day. Thank you for watching this video. Until next time, TBAT978. Watch my whole classified playlist link at the end. TBAT978 out of here. Figure action. That one's me. Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Click, click the videos. Click the f***ing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click.